Grand Rising, Grand Rising, all my YouTube followers, welcome, welcome, come on in to all my new ones. We are doing individual zodiac signs for the month of August, 11 on my timer. We have done Taurus, Taurus, Aries, Capricorn, Scorpio, Virgo, Libra, Sagittarius, Gemini, Pisces, and Leos. Again, happy birthday to all my Leos out there. It is Leo season. Welcome, welcome. So today we're going to start off with Aquarius. So if Aquarius reading does not resonate with you, you're more than welcome to go check out any of those other readings that I did just say, or any of my other readings that might resonate with you. You're more than welcome to check those out, pass it along, share them, like them, comment, um, as well as in the description box, if you would like to book a personal reading, you can go ahead and get that information in the description box, majesticquinn444 at gmail.com to book your personal reading. I do offer love readings. I offer um, forecasts for life guidance as well. Um, I'm hearing general forecasts. Sorry. And as well, um, so we're going into this Aquarius August monthly. These are general messages. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. So Aquarius, we got somebody that's about to reach out to you it's real soon. You need to remain focused because you are talented. You are talented. You possibly are about to get out in nature. Come here, wake up to a situation. You need to wake up. Or somebody might be calling you, waking you up. But you need to get out in nature is what I just heard. Uh, confirmation but I'm here reaching out I'm going to reach out to you soon remain focused and you're talented somebody feels or you feel again energy can be interchangeable energy can be fluid this could be your past present or near future this is our August monthly readings predictions I'm hearing someone saying you guys are stronger together than apart we are stronger together than apart Aquarius is what I'm hearing I do love you with all my heart they do fantasize about you or you two, two, two on a timer. I'm here. You do fantasize about this person. Somebody say you guys will get through this. Um, the number three could be significant in this particular situation. But somebody feels like you guys will get through this. You need to wake up because this person is serious that you guys are going to get through whatever it is you're going through. Maybe you guys went on some type of hike is what I heard. Nature walk or something like that. And you know, like we're going to get through this. Maybe you could be a little um, what I'm going to say, like um, out of shape. <laughs> uh, could be elderly as well Aquarius take a resonates or you're trying to get in shape and you're just like I got this I'm going to continue but right now we got somebody here that's about to reach out that you possibly could have stopped talking to or they could have stopped talking to you but somebody's about to reach out soon letting you know that y'all stronger together than apart Aquarius beautiful beautiful this person is definitely remaining focused on the fact that they do love you or you need to remain focused from this individual even though they do love you i'm hearing love at a distance you could be loving somebody at a, at a distance you could be love in love with somebody that's at a distance three 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 on my timer you're very talented aquarius this person here fantasizes about you a lot or you fantasize about this person a whole lot let's get an angel prayer an angel prayer all right, I'm going to get an angel prayer for my Aquarius for the month of August. What's going on? What does my Aquarius need to hear for the month of August? August, we got move your body. I'm hearing thank you angels for motivating me to move my body and energy. Like I said, like exercising. You could be getting size from heaven. Um, thank you heaven for sending me reminders of your presence. You could be having signs of feathers, white, black, blue. Could be significant, even purple feathers as well. Um, I'm definitely hearing you could be studying and learning something at this time. Um, you're thanking your angels for allowing you to see that every day is a learning opportunity. So Aquarius, you now know that every day you learn something new, no matter what it is or who it is. I'm definitely hearing even when you're married, you can't know everything about everybody um, before you get married is what I'm hearing. So sometimes people find out for four, four on a timer. Sometimes people find out something about their spouse that they didn't know. But you're still taking this leap of faith. 
I'm hearing you both are with the move your body and leap of faith. You both are taking a leap of faith in the same direction towards this happy marriage or happy friendship, happy work environment, happy home life. Take what resonates. You're honoring your feelings. <clears throat> Um, Archangel Hael is here supporting you as you honor your emotions. Honor your emotions. All right. So let's get an angel answer here. Again, our angel answers do not have to be related to the message. Whatever answer you need at this time, please ask it. Take a deep breath. And let's see what we got. We got a peaceful resolution here. I'm here regarding that marriage that's taking a leap of faith and moving your body. Yes, I'm here definitely about a marriage. We got a yes and peaceful resolution. All right. Taking action on some type of studying and learning type of situation. The year is now is what I'm hearing that the situation will approve. 555 five, five on the time. I'm hearing something significant about change. It's going to be drastic. It's going to be sudden, but it's for your betterment is what I heard. It's all for your betterment. Okay. Very specific message. All right. Um, let's see what we get with the tarot. So this is could definitely be your twin flame. And look at that. On the bottom of the deck, Ace of Cups. Um, that's because of my physical features. It was on the bottom. <laughs> Take what resonates. But it came up with my tarot cards. And this was on the bottom. So twin flame. Y'all about to receive some type of wish come true regarding your twin flame. I'm hearing you're very content in your situation with your twin flame at this time. I'm hearing very satisfied, emotionally stable. I'm also hearing luxury, a good life. I mean, welcome to the good life. Gratitude. I'm hearing you got a unified, loving situation here that somebody wants to offer you. It might be a small offer to begin. I'm also hearing you guys could have met. Um... And you guys were very two different individuals. And I'm definitely hearing you you manifested this. Pisces, Cancer energy. You manifested this individual into your life, into your energy. 7-Eleven can be significant. Like I said, high priestess. Your intuition is very strong about this particular situation. This particular um offer that you could be getting offered as well. Your intuition is on point. That's the truth. Whatever your intuition is telling you is the truth. You are you're about to receive, wake up. You're about to receive that mental clarity from this individual that they are in fact happy. They are in fact um, content with your relationship is what I'm hearing. All right, mental clarity. You're about to receive some type of breakthrough. I'm definitely hearing a lot of new ideas are surfacing. We got moving forward. So, yeah, we definitely hear move your body. You could be moving soon or something like that. But we got definitely a lot of movement cards here with the chariot. We got movement progression, taking action, cancer energy. You're, I'm hearing you got the willpower. 811, I'm definitely hearing control. I'm hearing you're switching directions. Emperor, energy, you're very respected, leadership, stability, structure, rules, power. I'm definitely here. Authority, some type of father figure, or you could be a father, or this is your father. Take what resonates, but I'm hearing page of wands. This, this person inspires you to make this move or make this start this new idea or our project. Take a resonate. You have somebody here that wants to give you some type of equal give and take. Taurus energy could be significant. Sagittarius energy could be significant. They are being very courageous at this time or you are. Somebody knows they're being tested at this time for something that's more long standing. I'm hearing this was just a test. Could have been. I'm hearing test home, test environment to see if you're really ready for the um, the real the real, the real 9-11. I'm definitely here and put, this was a test to see if you were ready for what you prayed for, what you wished for, what you hoped for. Celebration, joy. I'm seeing, yes, a lot. Some type of marriage, some type of new home. Again, double confirmation on the Aries energy here. An Aries is about to be receiving some type of new home. Work. I'm definitely hearing uh, some type of new home environment. Work. Um, definitely could be a Taurus energy. The victory is on its way to you. Could be a um, marriage as well is what I'm hearing. 
I'm definitely here. Society approves. You approve. I'm here not that you care for a society approval, but they do approve. And you approve. So take a resonate. So definitely approve regarding this new project. Whatever you're about to start is going to be golden because you have went deep within yourself for this. And now you're coming out on the other side, straight to your Ace of Pentacles. Whatever is being offered to you, it's being offered straight from the Divine 1010. It's not a coincidence that you're seeing this. I'm here ending. Sometimes you have to end something in order to begin something new. And that's okay. Doesn't mean you're not on the right path. Just stay optimistic. Again, and then we got an angel number for 1111. This is something that you prayed for. Something you wished for. Maybe you wish for some type of um, en en enlightenment here. And then we got wake up call and then wake up. Double confirmation here. Wake up call and then wake up. So maybe you heeded the wake up call. Maybe you need to get out of nature in order to receive this wake up call. Take what resonates for you. Hmm. All right. We're going to get um, abundance here. 888. Very abundant situation. Power. Prosperity. You're about to have some type of meeting. I'm hearing meet and greet. I'm hearing some type of reunion. I'm hearing job interview, housing interview, something of that sort. And I'm definitely hearing it's it's going to work out. It's going to work out for your favor. And then I'm looking at this like 1111. And then look at that 1111 on my timer. Can't make this shit up, y'all. And then we have 1111 here. That's three, three, three 1111. I'm definitely hearing you're about to get the home, the job, the marriage. I'm hearing threes, threes, the mind, body, and spirit, the holy trinity. I'm hearing the, I'm hearing sun, I'm hearing rising, sun, moon, rising, I'm hearing as well, could be significant, your sun, your moon, or your rising could be an Aquarius, or um, Virgo, or Aries energy. Possible Cancer energy. Table resonates. Pisces energy could be significant in this situation. Taurus, Leo energy could be significant. Look at that. And then we got Ten of Pentacles as well. Wow. Virgo energy. Table resonates. You're about to receive the home, the job, the marriage. All of them. After changing your perspective on a situation. Change your perspective. Change your life. Look at that. Happiness. The sun card. Nothing but happiness. You waking up or you need to wake up to some type of situation here that you have. 1222, some type of true love situation. This was brought by a religious um, entity is what I heard or God, the creator, whoever you believe in. I'm hearing this is true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Your love life is... Is your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing or spiritual path. I'm definitely hearing you were ordained for this person or this person is ordained for you. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Can I get one more? Yeah, this could be someone that was coming off very deceptive in the past or currently or in the near future. They're, in August, they're going to come off very deceptive. So you're going to go reconcile with someone else. I'm definitely hearing someone you thought was your true love actually came out to be very deceptive towards you. You realized it was wearing a false mask. So you prayed and prayed to your God, your creator, and now you're receiving what you need, who you need is what I'm hearing. Yeah, you're making an effort. You could have asked some friends to help. I'm hearing, even though you ask for help, sometimes you may not always um, receive it. I'm also hearing others might offer you help, 1333. I'm hearing you need to learn how to accept support from others as well. I'm definitely hearing you're a giver, Aquarius. You're a giver. Your finances and career is definitely a big issue regarding this romantic situation. Because financial issues are a factor in your love life. And I'm hearing that be the biggest um, issue when it comes to relationships. But someone is trying to give this a chance because they know they deserve love and you deserve love. So it takes two is what I'm hearing. Okay, now. It takes two. <laughs> Look, and then one and a two. With the 12, 12 reduces to a three, which is about communication and creativity. And then we have the sun card here, 19, which reduces to a one. The number of what? The number of what? Number, ace of pentacles. You're starting completely fresh. You're starting completely fresh. Let's get the T on this situation for my Aquarius. What's the T for the month of August? What is the T my Aquarius needs to know for the month of August? 
oh, 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 it tried to fall off. It tried to fall off 12, 14, 44, coin rising. It tried to fall off. Somebody, I'm here, someone tried to knock your crown off or you tried to knock someone's crown off. Take what resonates. Again, energy can be um, switched how you see fit. But I'm hearing someone here is stepping into their power. They're very well praised. They're coming up in the world they're in the spotlight i'm definitely here someone tried to knock off your crown or even steal your crown someone tried to imitate you someone could have tried to rob you i'm also hearing um this could have been physically or emotionally some type of theft loss somebody wasted a lot of time doing this whoever tried to steal from you waste your time rob you i mean this person is actually stuck they're not experiencing any changes in their lives. They're very limited. This is a spiritual hater. They walk around just hate on people's spirituality um, or religion. Take what resonates. But I'm hearing people. this person hates on your spirituality, your light, your magic, your power. Why? Because this is a third party. Someone's third party, your third, your third party. I definitely keep saying three was very important. 1555, somebody's changing something regarding multiple lovers. Maybe somebody don't want multiple lovers. I'm also hearing poly could be a big situation in this. Somebody wants it, the other person doesn't, something like that. But I'm definitely here. You keep shining, Aquarius. You keep shining. Your light irritates these people's demons or this person likes to irritate your demon. 1616. Tell you what resonates, but I'm definitely here. You're very creative. Like I said, somebody here tried to imitate you. Duplicate. Feed off of your energy. I'm here, energy vampire. They steal your ideas. They copy your work. This could be somebody at work as well. This is like somebody who don't keep their eyes on their own paper. Don't keep their eyes on their own paper. I'm definitely here. Come on. Come get that reading. Come get your personal reading. So that way you can know what's what specifically for you. This could be somebody that got a reading on you as well. This could be somebody here that is work with the dark arts is what I just heard. It also could just be you needed to come and get your reading because you know you got love on the brain. Go ahead and come get that love reading. Personals. MajesticQuinn444 at gmail.com. Aquarius, you won't regret it. You won't regret it. These people are just groupies. And they just fishing for comments. You could be definitely in the public eye, Aquarius. Yep, these are impersonators that's trying to copy you. I'm definitely here in 1717. You recently found um, some type of profile that's not yours. Like, like you got a friend, requi friend request or inbox from yourself. Take what resonates. That's what I just heard. That's very specific from somebody. Um, from somebody. So, yes, it's from somebody else, but it's not you. This person is trying to impersonate you. They want to be just like you. They try to act like you, dress like you, look like you. They copy you. They're an impersonator. You're unbothered, though, because you know these people deep down, they have a problem with themselves. So that's why they behave that way. Happiness hater. This is somebody that they hate on other people's happiness. Like I said, with the third party. A love triangle. And then we have three people here. Somebody that don't like sitting here watching you kissing up on your boo. They don't like that. They don't want that for you. You're just ignoring these people. you rather tell them, come ride the wave. Come ride my wave. <laughs> Rod wave could be significant as well. Somebody could listen to him. Um, somebody here is a fake flexor and they kind of force things um, into play. I'm definitely here. Somebody could be trying to fight somebody to stay with them, but they don't want to because they realize this person is a fake flexor. Yeah, this is it ignored and rejected. Somebody's going to try to call you and you're going to hit ignore and reject this call or email or um, text message. Take what resonates. Um, so let's get the um, let's get this here. A physical feature, a physical feature. The last one we had was Twin Flame in that case. That was on the bottom of my, um, my tarot card. I was about to say Taurus. So Aquarius, you could be dealing with a Taurus. What else we got with the Twin Flame? We got high heels. The letter E, I'm hearing Erica. The letter B, I'm hearing Bridget. Someone could be, um, I'm hearing 2111 as well. So I'm hearing someone could be the ages of 21. So I'm hearing 21, 31, 41. I'm hearing 12 years old, something about a 12 year old. They had to go bald. I'm definitely hearing someone that took a vow of silence. I'm hearing monks could be significant. 
Somebody has a lot of tattoos. I'm definitely hearing this person here focus focuses on the individuality. I'm also hearing people are upset that you focus on yourself more than anything. You don't really. I'm hearing private is the new lifestyle. This person could be a little obese. They could have straight hair. Someone could have a very specific and very unique beauty mark and or scar, or both. Someone could have a very specific scar near their face, their eyes. 2012 could be significant. A beauty mark near their face, lips, eyes, nose is what I just heard. 2017 could be significant. All right. So we got dark eyes. Somebody could have dark eyes, straight hair, tattoos. They're bald headed. They could be a little obese here. Somebody in a situation that wear high heels. The name, like I said, Erica, Bridget, Bianca. Um, I'm hearing Easter or Esther could be significant. I'm hearing the um, BB. I'm hearing the, the initials EA. I'm also hearing L, the letter L. LL could be significant. Take a resonance. I'm also hearing somebody here try to cause you to have some type of um, L in your finances on purpose. Or you could have tried to cause someone to have an L and, and then L. L T L B could be significant, but I'm definitely hearing someone tried to call someone to have some type of L in their finances, knowing they could have helped them have some type of work work life balance. Somebody here definitely understands what went down in a situation. Someone is woke to what you Aquarius tried to do, or what someone else tried to do to an Aquarius. Or Aquarius, you could have been in on this. Like I said, twenty one thirty one could be significant, but someone was definitely in on this regarding somebody. I'm hearing Aquarius, you just knew about it. You could have just been aware, 2141. You could have just been aware of what somebody was trying to do to this particular different, you know, person is what I heard. But you know this person is stronger than whoever that is trying to cause an ill to someone's finances. But this person is just breathing through the work-life balance. They're showing some type of effort of standing firm on their situation. They're, they're going to do it by themselves if they have to. I'm definitely hearing someone try to break someone's crown, steal someone's crown, or slowly try to prevent someone from putting their crown on and seeing who they really are. Take what resonates, but someone here has some type of gratitude. They're saying thank you, too, too, too. I'm hearing thank you for not believing in me. Thank you for not believing me. That's what I just heard with this wake-up car. Thank you for not believing in me because it pushed me to go harder. Take a resonance. All right, Aquarius, work-life balance. It's, it's causing you. Look at those waves. You ride in them damn waves. Look at that. That is tremotrous. That's what I hear. Tremotrous. I'm hearing thank you for not believing in me. This person is clear thinking now. Y'all, y'all done fucked up is what I just heard. Y'all fucked up. Aquarius energy, do you fucked up or somebody fucked up? Somebody's about to fuck around and find out is what I heard. And it's Friday, fuck around and find out. Clear thinking. Someone is clear. Their mind is clear and focused. Um, they will, you will not let your mind become cluttered with needless thoughts. Exactly. Or someone try to clutter your mind with all their bullshit and you're just like, no, no, thank you. That has nothing to do with me. I'm definitely hearing a little bit of tough love will go far. So I'm here. Thank you for not believing in me. I'm here. You are very grateful. This person is very grateful for all the people who care for them and enrich their life. I'm hearing you are grateful for the wonderful wide world around you and the chance to even live in it. 2333. Somebody could definitely be feeling this way. Like they're grateful for you or you're grateful for them. But somebody here needs to find their own way. Ride their own wave is what I just heard. Or someone is trying to ride your wave when they need to find their own. I'm here stay in your own lane. I'm here. I work hard and I take my rewards for it. I will never be a slave to my job. Definitely. Definitely. You could be telling your boss this like, hey, I'm not going to be putting in all these hours and I'm not getting paid what I'm worth. It's just simple as that. Like things cost money. Like we have to have money to survive and I'm not getting paid enough. Something of that sort. But um, festive season could be very, very significant. I'm definitely hearing something. I'm here. You might you have to tell somebody you coming in later. Later than you think or someone might be coming in later than you thought. Look, a beard could be very significant. That ain't even supposed to be anything there. <laughs> wow, we got two different ones. We got the age of 27 and 45 and a beard. And then we have today. Something about today. Today. Something about today. Somebody's about to receive some type of message today. 
Yep, today, October, I'm definitely hearing what's this. October 26th could be very significant as well. Um, take what resonates for you in a situation. All right. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Someone could be feeling guilty for something they did. They feel pain from the damage that they caused caused you or you caused them. Someone feels someone felt like you didn't care. They feel unappreciated. They feel like you didn't care and they're letting you know this through me or you letting someone know through me that they didn't care. They didn't appreciate you. They didn't appreciate you when they had you. They got you feeling unworthy or you got this person feeling unworthy. Take what resonates. But someone held back from a situation on purpose. On purpose is what I just heard. On purpose. All right. Yeah, which caused somebody to be in some type of weird, unsatisfied space. Weird, unsatisfied space. All right, let's get some messages. If you were to talk to this person or if they were to contact you in the month of August, what would they say or what would you say? For my Aquarius, if this person was to contact you or you were to contact them, what would they say? 2555, I'm definitely hearing somebody wants you to change or you're going to tell this person they need to change. Somebody still feel you with them. Luna, Lena, like I said, the letter L could be significant. Pedro, Peter, Paul, Patricia. I'm hearing Persephone could be significant. I'm hearing um, Stephanie could be significant. I'm hearing you should have spent more time listening to me. And Spike, something about Spike. I'm hearing someone could have spiked somebody's drink or something like that. I'm looking at these three people drink. I'm hearing be careful when you take drinks from others. I'm hearing pour your own troubles. Be careful when you take drinks from others. Pour your own troubles. I'm hearing you're so cold the silence is killing me. Look at that. And then killing me. Y'all take a resonance. Say he did that one. That's very specific for somebody. But I'm definitely hearing Caleb, Liam, Nikki could be significant. You're supposed to choose me. You deserve to be treated better. And somebody definitely here fantasizes about you. Somebody, somebody. They fantasize about you. Why in the bed with somebody else? Take a resonate. Double confirmation. All right. Da -da 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 -da. All right, so what do we got here? We got that, 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 that. All right, we got the time. So let's get something from the life purpose. Look, what I say, you're on the right path. You're on the right path. You've been talking to your angels lately about your family, your children, and should you go after your true heart's desires. I'm here. The angels are supporting and guiding and protecting you as your dreams become your reality. I'm definitely hearing even your sense. I'm hearing even your kids have become more sensitive to what's going on because they are awakened too. You have children that's very more. I'm hearing they have more. Um, they have more power than you do. I'm hearing if you're a powerful powerful creature your children are just as powerful and even more because now they're studying up on their sensitivity they're one by the time they turn 28 they're going to realize who the fuck they are is what i just heard they're going to start creative um expressions as well your life purpose involves helping teaching and healing children i'm hearing loving your friends and family is central to your life purpose I'm also hearing instead of worrying, ask divine guidance. I'm hearing you've been talking to your angels and they keep telling you, you don't need no more confirmation. You're on the right path to success. 28, 28. Like I said, something about 28 years old, you can have two children. They need to trust. They need to trust. By the both of them, by the time they make 28, your trust, they're going to trust the feelings and dreams that they be, they be having. And then they're going to start counseling each one another. Or they might start doing their inner healing or whatever they need to do for themselves. All right, let's get some from the Island's Time Wellness. We got a heart with a key, welcoming and love, meeting the one. Someone is opening their heart and getting to know each other. Could be your soulmate. All right, soul connection, partnership. Someone want to work this out. They could have sabotaged something or someone realized they sabotaged the wrong person. They can't keep you down. Look, and then we have mask again. Somebody who was being deceptive. Someone was being deceptive here to you. After you unconditionally love this person, you unconditionally love this person. You chase this person. And now this person got to watch you do your thing. Sword and Rose, that's the truth. This person got to watch you do your thing because they had a way of outdated thinking. They had a way, the way they conditioned, where their mind was conditioned. They wasn't focused on marriage. 
They was focused on third party situations, um, hookups, temptation, and you had to end it with a coffin. Or this was you. Maybe somebody ended it with you because of that. Take a resonate. Somebody here felt ashamed of what they've been doing with their life. They felt ashamed. You felt ashamed. Take a resonate. If you want to know more, book that personal reading. MajesticQuinn444 at gmail.com. Somebody can't stop thinking about you. They feel like you have the most beautiful and precious heart. I mean, precious, but purest. The name precious could be significant. I mean, I love you with all my heart and soul. And they can feel your magnetic pool towards them. They feel the pool. They feel the pool. Um, something about feel the pool. <laughs> um, but everything reminds them of you. And they're trying to understand themselves more before they can come towards you. Okay, can I get a true emotions for this situation? True emotions. What's the true emotions on this situation for my Aquarius for the month of August? True emotions. Some bad news. Somebody had to give bad news, about to receive bad news. Take a resonate. Somebody definitely in some type of separation, reflecting, soul searching. And they feel trapped. Or you do. Or someone try to make someone feel trapped in their own circumstances is what I heard. In their own circumstances. Yeah, I'm definitely hearing the twin flame is thinking about you. Memories, 3111. Like I said, 31 and number 11 got to be significant. 21, something about these ones. But I'm hearing somebody here is unemployed. They got a lot of debt to pay. And 3121, like I just said, um, bad credit. Someone's experiencing some type of bad credit. Maybe you or your twin flame for trying to trap somebody. Is what I just heard. You and your twin flame is experiencing some type of bad karma for trying to put somebody in some 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 negative mind space. Is what I just heard. Yes, 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 yes. This person has more faith than what y'all thought they had. They they do a lot of healing which y'all thought they did not. I'm definitely this person pray more than what you thought, or vice versa, more than what they they you pray. You got faith. You heal. You pray. Take what resonates. But someone here do act like they're very detached. They could they about to ghost you, or you're about to ghost someone. Someone is definitely off and on, hot and cold. They're very detached. I'm hearing someone act like that because they they have awakening. They have awakened into who the fuck they really are. They got, have a lot of chaos around them because they're supposed to go through these changes and they accept it. They ride the wave of life. So, of course, there's a lot of chaos around this person. Of course, there's a lot of ego death. 3222. This could be a Scorpio you're dealing with because I'm thinking about the death card, which is number 13, reduces to a four. I'm hearing death, death and rebirth. This person go through a lot of, lot of changes. They go through a lot of downward spiral um, things because they're spiritually awakening. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, they feel every fucking thing. And you're just like, why are you doing this? But somebody here pretending to be fake busy so they don't have to feel anything. This could be a love-hate relationship. And that's a secret. But I know. I just <laughs> Yeah, somebody could have had a run-in with the police or something. They cussed the police out or something like that. Take what resonates. Um, somebody could be watching something, a police show or something like that. Um and you just tuned in. But somebody know you got a wild side. There is a side they have not seen and they want to. They want to see you get loose, get wild, and let's have fun. You definitely hear somebody want to see that wild side of you that they have not seen. I'm here. It's very simple. It's simple. They're very simple individual. Or you're a very simple individual. Somebody keep asking, how do you really feel about me and, and us? And I'm hearing you want, I want you and I want us forever. Somebody could ask you that a lot. That's something that something to say. They just want something to say to you so you could like show. I'm hearing words of affirmation. I'm also hearing there's something uh, they really want to share with you. Um, and they're trying to wait for the right time to do it. Maybe they want to tell you that they're not really emotionally equipped to be in this situation someone need you need that emotional intimacy in a relationship in a marriage and i don't feel like it's there and your intuition been telling you that for quite some time someone has some type of emotional intimacy issue so they've gone through a lot of ego depths and waking up spiritually i'm hearing i i am afraid to truly open up to you be raw and authentic with my emotions it's something i'm still working on either you or them 34 24 can be significant but somebody definitely missing you they missing you. 
And I'm here, you could be saying, just let me go. 3434, you could be saying, let me go. Because you deserve all the good things in this world. And right now, you're not in a space or they're not in a space to give you that type of connection. You deserve to live your life and let me go. And they're nervous to tell you that. That's something somebody want to tell you. Somebody want to tell you, you need to let them go. Or you want to tell somebody they need to let you go. Even though they missing you. I'm also hearing, you're going to miss me. But you need to let me go because you deserve better. Like I said, somebody or someone is about to get ghosted. I'm sorry I disappeared. I needed to get away and clear my head. Somebody is about to go ghost. And they're doing that because their headspace is all messed up. All messed up. Oh, wow. Okay, y'all. This is what I'm seeing. Let's get to what's happening. And then we're going to end it there. What's really happening to this Aquarius for the month of August? What's really going on for my Aquarius for the month of August? What's going on in my Aquarius month of August? We got some type of mental abuse. Somebody could be getting abused, abused mentally. Like I said in the beginning, this is an energy vampire that you're dealing with. They're draining the fuck out of you. And they're and they're not only are they draining the fuck out of you, they're adding with their own shit to your plate. And it can, most of the shit it could be lies. 35 55 i'm definitely here something is about to change drastically for an aquarius for the month of august i'm definitely here if this is not a relationship this is just you that you could be mentally abusing yourself telling yourself like i can't do it things of that nature i'm definitely seeing confession that just fell on the floor give me one second I'm definitely seeing confessions. So somebody is going to confess this to you and let you know what's really been going on in the situation. Yeah, because somebody has a um, a different agenda. Somebody has a different agenda than what you thought they had or you do. Yeah, like I said, some big change is about to happen to Aquarius in the month of August. Big change, big, big change. And somebody not going to like that. Somebody not going to like the change that's about to happen. But again, double confirmation. It's a secret. It's supposed to be a secret. I'm telling you they secret, Aquarius. Or I, I might be telling your secret, but it's a secret. Somebody got a different agenda than what you thought. Maybe somebody's physically attracted to someone else other than you. That live at a distance. They physically attracted to somebody that live at a distance. Because I'm hearing you have low self-esteem or maybe just they going towards this person. They start petty arguments with this person to lower their self-esteem to go towards some type of situation because they're opportunist. Whoa. Okay, Aquarius. This is what I am seeing for the month of August, y'all. That just got real nitty and gritty real quick, real fast. Um, Aquarius for the month of August. Stay tuned for more, y'all. We got one more reading, which is Cancer, and that will conclude our August um, predictions. Again, if you want to book you a personal for your own satisfaction satisfaction you can definitely book me description box majestic quinn 444 at gmail.com again that is majestic quinn 444 at gmail.com and you can book whatever reading that is fits for you in your situation or if you want more of these love readings that's there as well again this is for aquarius sun moon rising you are your person for august monthly i hope you guys enjoyed it i love you all thank you for the likes subscribes hit that notification bell if you don't know where it is it's up there somewhere so that way you don't miss any of my messages you get them right away once i post i love you guys again donations are always welcome all of that information will be in the description box enjoy your weekend